Hi friends, let's make this delicious Sunday roast. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Shani and don't forget to subscribe before you go. And to my regular watchers, I always appreciate you all. Let's get started. This is absolutely delicious and this is perfect for Sundays or your holidays. Here I have some cilantro, some scallion, ginger, some garlic. I have a habanero, you can use scotch bonnet and I have one onion. I also have some all-purpose seasoning, some oregano, some paprika, some salt, some garlic powder, and some black pepper. So here is my nice um, roast here that's been washed and set aside. So here, let's go ahead and blend all these ingredients. So I'm blending them in some orange juice. You can also just use water. So I'm just going to go get everything into the blender and blend these up and set this aside. Then we're going to work on our pork now if you didn't want to use a pork but you can also use a beef um beef brisket or whatever type of cut of meat that you like so i'm just going to go ahead and pour even the spices into the blender and blend that up so for easy distribution so here i'm just going to go ahead and score the pork this is about an eight pound of um shoulder i'm going to score it one way down and then another way across so next, I'm just going to go ahead and pour the seasoning onto it, but I'll turn it over first and then I'll just go ahead and dot some slits in there. That's going to help for the seasoning to get into the meat. This is a huge cut of meat and you're wanting to, it to be flavorful throughout. So go ahead and get that beautiful marinade all over the meat. Now, I hope that you will try this marinade. It can go on any cut of meat, to be honest. That orange juice just really sets off the flavor and is so tasty. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this over and I'm going to generously pour this seasoning over the meat and make sure to get into those nooks and crannies that we just created. That's going to help for a delicious flavoring. So this is done. I'm just going to go ahead and cover this up and I'm gonna let this marinate for about 24 hours um, that's gonna be a perfect time to make sure everything gets into this cut of meat and you want it to be super super juicy so just cover it up with some plastic wrap or a marinating container that you have a cover for and go ahead and set it aside into your fridge for 24 at least 12 to 24 hours is good Okay, so here I have my roasting pan and I'm going to go ahead and get the meat in there. And I'm just going to pour on all of the marinade that was with the meat. Um, and that's going to help to continue to make this meat very flavorful. So I'll put this into my 350 degree oven for about three and a half hours covered. Yes, this is quite a long time, but it's worth it. So here I've removed the cover and I've placed it back for one hour. That's going to help to give me that beautiful color that we have here and that nice crust of the skin on top. You can use the sauce in the bottom to make some gravy. So here I've just laid it out on a platter and I'm telling you this is a perfect piece of meat for your Sunday or your holiday that's going to be coming up. This could be a beautiful showstopper on your table. So I'm just going to go ahead and slice this up and like honestly it might be hard to get uh, perfect slices out of this because it is so tender that you can just use your, your fork to just pull it apart. And that's going to be your pulled pork. So it is so moist and juicy and I love the crust on the top. If you ask me, that's the best, best part. So let me show you how I will serve this up. Okay, so I have some yellow rice and then I'm just going to layer on a couple slices of the meat, however much that you like. I also have some black beans. You can use any beans. And then I also have some fried plantain because if you know me, Fry plantain is a must. And then I also have some avocado. This is a next must. So I'm just going to pour on a little bit of the pan juices and sprinkle on some scallion. That just cuts through the richness of the meat. And I just love the crunch of scallion on anything. So here we are. This is delicious. Perfect dinner for today, Sunday, or any other day, to be honest. I hope you will give the recipe a try. I'll leave everything in the description box below for you to recreate your own roast at home. The meat is so tender, as you can see. 
and it's so flavorful and it just goes perfect with this meal so i do hope that you will give the video a thumbs up and that you will like the recipe and come back for more so bye now